Hey traders and investors, it's Serge Berger here. Today we get the jobs report for February. And if even if you're watching this video after reports already been out, that's totally fine. I'm not trying to uh, give you anything timely to today's job report. What I'm trying to tell you today is that the jobs report really on average is not something you want to trade. Now if you are prone to clicking around intraday, um, I would agree there are opportunities that can be had, but for the most part, for most investors, trading on the jobs reports outcome immediately or even within a couple of hours afterwards tends not to be a good idea. And the reason why it tends not to be a good idea is because there is way too much emotions involved in the immediate aftermath. So if you look at this chart here, and this is an intraday chart, and again, I try not to do too much intraday chart because I know for, it's not it's not for everyone, but just to give you an idea, look at this is a 15 minute chart. Each one of these bars is 15 minutes, and this is the, this is the February uh, 7th job support, so this was the January job support. Uh, by looking at this, it should be pretty obvious that this right here, these two bars, this is when the job report came out. The immediate term, the immediate reaction was to the downside, and within 15 minutes after that, the stock market uh, rallied uh, quite aggressively to the long side, ended the day, uh, uh, the February 7th, 2014, at the absolute highs of the day. Now, uh, very few people even uh, uh, try, try to, to trade this, but from uh, from an investor point of view, there is much better opportunities over the following couple of days of trading. So let me show you what this looks like in the daily chart. So now we're on the daily chart of the S and P 500, and February 7th was this day right here. It was essentially the second follow-through buying day after we had put in the lows or what at the time looked like that could have been the lows for February uh, for February, and, the, and pretty much the first quarter of 2014. So from my point of view, uh, the jobs report in general tends not to be a good idea for the simple reason that there's just too much emotion involved. The second reason why it's not a great idea to make a trade based on the immediate term reaction or the immediate ter uh, the immediate result is because essentially you're dealing with Friday type of trading. And I'll do a video on this at some point in the next couple of weeks, but Fridays tend not to be good days for great de for big decision making, portfolio decision making, and also thus not really for trading, particularly the afternoon sessions. The afternoon sessions are usually littered with algorithms doing their thing, a lot of market participants are no longer there, there's nothing to look forward to the next day, so a lot of people just take off early, or at the very least don't do anything anymore in the markets, uh, at least that's how a lot of the institutions work. So from, uh, that's another reason why it just doesn't really pay to do much uh, uh, in, in terms of immediate term reaction. What you want to wait for is some sort of clarification of how the report turns out and you measure, and, and the way you do that is by measuring what the market actually did at the end of the day. So on a daily closing basis, let's see what happens on Friday or today, March 7th, and then based on that, we can then get a better idea and potentially do some trades uh, on the back of that early next week. I hope this makes sense as always. If you want to contact me, shoot me uh, a tweet, and my Twitter handle, which is SteadyTrader. Take care.